Next, we're moving on to Virgo energy. Haha, <laughs> death. So in terms of Virgos, the way in which we're going to pursue ourselves is we need to find those inner Pharisees, those inner Sadducees, those inner, you know, those inner structures that feel like they can't be challenged, that feel like, you know, when we threaten to change them, they're the most resistant towards change. They're the ideas inside of us that feel the most comfortable staying the same. So for Virgos to really take the next step and to really dive into the process of finding out who they are and, and really interfacing with what will fulfill us, we have to throw off the things that internally have become our masters that really does, does not serve us. So when we see, you know, this is basically a priest, right? He's a symbol of the old world. So for Virgos, this is going to be a very important time for us this week. is going to be a very, a very important time for us to go internally and see what are structures of the old world, the old paradigm, the old generation's way of thinking about things, about what what is valuable, what will fulfill us, what will sustain us, what works. Find those things in me that are still attached to the old way of being and allow them to die. Until we find those things that are the most upright in us and are the most fighting for things to remain the same, we can't fully empty our cup to actually welcome in the full process of I am going to the river empty. My adventure, my sense of adventure is stemmed on I have nothing inside. That is the thing that propels us forward to truly investigate and to analyze in a new way. But for in order for Virgos to do this, we have to relinquish a sense of knowingness that we have. Have. You know, Virgo energy in its shadow aspect again, you know, has a tendency to judge that we are better than other people for what we believe or what the way we structured our life or the way we think things work. But within every Virgo is an old structure that is definitely needing to die for us to take our next step. So, for instance, you know, my sun and my moon are in Virgo. In a lot of ways, this card is inviting me to go within my conscious and subconscious mind. To to find the old, you know, the old institutions, the old dogmatic ways of thinking that are more aligned with, you know, the societal, the religious, my familial uh, um, uh, value systems and, and start working to sacrifice those things purposefully instead of giving in to the ways in which I still fight to stay in my familiarity and stay in my comfort zone.